Hello everyone, Mr. Crone here, and I'm about to show you a shortcut on how to convert from hexadecimal to binary and from binary back to hexadecimal. Now, if you haven't already done the basic conversions from binary to base 10 and from hexadecimal to base 10, I will go back and watch those videos first. You do need a basic understanding of how to convert back to base 10 before you can actually use this shortcut. So go ahead and go back and watch those first if you need to. But if you don't, here we go. I have everything we need set up already. I have our hexadecimal letters up here and their equivalents, and then I have our bases for base two and base 16. All right, now the first example I would like to do, I would like to convert AF base 16 into base two. Now I am going to do this the long way first. We'll go from base 16 to base 10, and then from base 10 to binary. So first thing we're going to do is look at our 16s position. We have how many in the 16s position? Well, we have A of them, which is just 10. So we can figure out what this is. It'll be 10 times 16. Next, we'll take a look at our ones. We'll say, how many do we have in the ones position? Well, we have F of them, which is really just equivalent to 15. So we can set up our next. For sake of consistency, I'll multiply by one. Then we can go ahead and simplify. That will give us 160 plus 15. Simplify further, that will give us an answer of 175, but this is base 10. Now we can go from base 10 to base 2. So I'm going to use the bases that I already have written out up here. 256 is too large, so we're going to go to 128, and we'll say, how many 128s can I take out of 175? Well, I can take 1 out. I'm going to start up the subtraction problem, and I'll have 175 minus 128. That's going to give us 47 left over that we have to account for. Can we take a 64 out of there? Well, no, 64 is too large. Next number that we can use is going to be 32, so we'll have 47 minus 32, and that's going to give us leftover of 15, and now 16 is too large, and that's just going to make the rest of these ones. So this will be our final binary answer then. We have AF base 16 is equivalent to 10101111 in base 2. Okay, and that worked and that got us the correct answer, but that's the long way of doing it. So here is the short way of doing it. And let's just put a comment here, long way. Now this is going to be the short way. The short way is to break it up into bits of four at a time. So we have A and we have F. Now, the easy thing to do is we can just say, what is the binary equivalent of A? In other words, what is the binary equivalent of 10? Well, that is just 1010. Next thing we can do is say, what is the binary equivalent of F or the binary equivalent of 15? Now, I've just worked with binary enough that I know it's 1111. Now, now that you have that, all you need to do is put them together. 1010111, and that is your answer. The exact same thing that we got by doing it the long way with base 10 in between. Hope this helps. You can also go the other way. If you like to, it's just the same exact process. If they give you a binary number, just take a look at this, convert it to hexadecimal, four bits at a time, and it works just as quickly. Now, until you're very comfortable with binary, you may have to take it four bits at a time and just actually convert it from base 10 first, but it will still be faster than working with these large numbers. It is much easier to just use four bases and small numbers than to use eight bases for an entire byte and convert it that way. Uh, post any comments or concerns you have, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to them. Thanks.